This is what Jesus spoke of in John 3. We need new hearts. We need God to write his law on our hearts. We need spiritual rebirth. We turn to Ezekiel 36, 26, and it says, And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. God spoke through the prophet Ezekiel when he promised the gift of a new heart. This signifies the new birth, which is regeneration by the Holy Spirit. The heart stands for the whole nature of a person. The spirit indicates the governing power of the mind that directs thought and conduct. A heart of stone is stubborn and self-willed. A heart of flesh is pliable and responsive. A person's evil inclination is removed and a new nature replaces it. This is the new covenant character that Jeremiah spoke of. All of this ties together and points to exactly what Jesus was talking about with Nicodemus. All of this points to the fact that our hearts are wretched and need to be replaced. All of this points to the fact that we are dead and need to be resurrected to new life in Christ. Going back to the story of how Jesus brought me from death to life, Jesus gave me a new heart. I was reborn. And there is tangible evidence of this. The reality is this. When a person is reborn, it produces radical change in their life.